Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today I'm about episode number 17 of my F1 2016 career mode. So there is the Japanese Grand Prix. By far one of my weakest circuits. And there's been an update to F1, I think yesterday. So let's see if my missing icons have reappeared. Nope. Great update, Code Masters. Great update. For fuck's sake! Uh, this is why I hate Japan. It's a, it's a horrible truck to drive and it always fucking rains. Raining in practice one. Raining in practice two. Raining in practice three. Dry in qualifying. Well, that's, that, that, that's just fucking fantastic. So, so practice, you're saying, means absolutely fucking nothing. Great. What about the race? Oh, it's dry in the race as well. Fucking great. Turn, you fuck nut. Oh, fucking hell. Driving this car in the rain at this track is like teaching a baby how to swim. Like, you, you, you know what you want to do, but you, 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 it, it won't do it. Perez is fucking five seconds, six, four, four seconds quicker than me in sector two. This is going to be a diabolical lap, and somehow it's green. Jeff, shut up! I'm trying to drive! And I can't tell you to shut up because I'm driving. Okay, we cross the line and we do get the points. Thank God, I did not want to do another lap. Oh, bang! Smashed it! How the fuck did I do that? I think we smashed that by about 1.1 seconds. Okay, so we seem to nail that practice session. So let's go to qualifying. I'm feeling pretty confident now. Welcome to the only figure of eight track on the F1 calendar. We're here at Suzuka for qualifying today ahead of the Japanese Grand Prix. Many of the drivers have commented on the challenge posed by the high speed direction changes around this circuit, but you still need to be quick in a straight line. Is that a fair layman's appraisal? Drivers are going to need a nicely balanced car to be fast here. They'll need to get the most out of the medium and high speed corners, which will push them to run more downforce. But in turn, this slows the car down on the straights. It's a tricky balancing act. I'm going to go out and Q1 on the softs. We should get in easily. Then I'm going to try and get into Q3 on the mediums. But then obviously we'll have another set of softs if we don't manage it. But I, I feel confident about this track. Okay, so we completed our Q1 time and I wasn't pushing too hard at all. We just make it in, getting 16th. Once again, a Mercedes is out in Q1 though. Lewis Hamilton will start in 17th. I don't know what goes on with Mercedes. I don't know if it's glitched, but I know when, I can't remember which race it was, but in one race they were both out in Q1. Several occasions, Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg have been out in Q1 each. So I don't know if they're just stupid, but, but Hamilton was starting 17th, out in Q1 again. Okay, so here we go on our Q2 run. Hopefully we can make it in on the mediums. Okay, come up to line. This has been a very, very good lap. DRS open. We go third place, six tenths behind Raikkonen. Beating Verstappen, who's also on the mediums. I'm sure that'll be enough. Let's retire and see. Do we make it? We get P4. It says on my steering wheel. P4 for us on the medium tyre. Could we go for our second pole position of this career mode? So our rival Daniel Kvyat will start in 16th. Very poor result from him. I'm pretty sure that means I've beaten him. Maybe not at the end of qualifying, but surely at the end of the race I should beat him. Massa goes out in 15th. Sergio Perez out in 12th. Oh, that's very surprising. But the surprise of the session, both Renaults making it into Q3. They seem very quick in this second half of the season. But without further ado, let's go to Q3. Okay, come up to lie. I'm not sure how good this that's been. DRS open. We go second ahead of Ricardo. 135-0. 
Ah. Uh, I feel like I could go faster, but I fit okay, right? I can just beat enough. So Ferrari seem quick here. But I'm gonna retire anyway. I feel like that's a decent lap. What do we get? We end up in P is that five or three? P3. I will take a P3. So the Ferrari's looking strong here. Looking at the times, I don't think I could have found three temps. I definitely could have found some time, but Max Verstappen starting in fourth, Rosberg starting in fifth. But you gotta remember, I think it's me and Verstappen starting on the mediums. I don't think anyone else is. We're gonna be in a very strong position at the start of the race. Yes, we have beaten Kvyat. Finally, we beat him in the rivalry. We absolutely destroy him. I think in the first time, Kvyat won. We drew in the second rivalry. Third time lucky. I win it. Fuck you, Kvyat. And our team obviously happy with us. Come on, give us that first driver. Welcome to the Japanese Grand Prix, an event that has decided a driver's championship 11 times over the years and has hosted some very memorable races as well. Who can forget Kimi Raikkonen's win from 17th on the grid in 2005 or Kamui Kobayashi's incredible drive to a podium in 2012. A lap of this historic racetrack covers 3.6 miles. And it's the only time during the season that we race on a figure of eight racetrack. The drivers can expect some intense G-forces through the 18 corners on offer here as they experience some of the highest average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar. And keep an eye out for overtakes going into the final chicane. And all this will be happening under the watchful eye of Anthony Davidson who joins me for today's race. And assuming the weather holds, where do you expect to see the action unfolding today, Ant? Well, most of the time, passing here is limited very much into the final chicane, or maybe down into turn one if you get a good run and some assistance from DRS. But if we're lucky, we might see a bit of bravery into the hairpin, a place that Kamui Kobayashi certainly made his own in the 2010 Grand Prix on his way to a very impressive seventh place. And as you say, Crofty, this is all assuming that the conditions hold out. We know how quickly the clouds can come in here at Suzuka, and if they do, all bets will be off. If we keep up this level of performance, I think you'll be promoted to number one driver. So let's make sure we get a good result today. It's about time. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, edging out Raikkonen, who'll start P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have a Force India, Verstappen, Nico Rosberg, and Ricardo, Bottas, Gutierrez, Palmer, and Kevin Magnussen, Sainz, Perez, Roman Grosjean and Alonso, Massa, Kvyat, Lewis Hamilton and Jensen Button, Verline and Harry Anto, Marcus Ericsson and Felipe Nasa starts from the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, looking at our race track. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, surely. Hang on. Surely I can I just do this? I can't change the top. Are you fucking serious? I can't. Do I not have a? Do I not have softs left? I must have softs. I do have softs. Let me change. I don't want to use the hard tire. Wait, are the hard tires mandatory? Right, that sells it. We're going for a five stop, guys. We're going for a five stop. To be fair, the hard tires aren't actually that bad. Guess I'm going for this then. So that's our strategy sorted. Let's go to the race. Okay, here we are on the curve for the Japanese Grand Prix. We've got three lights, four lights, five lights. Lights out and away we go. It's a bit late up the start, but Raikkonen gets an absolutely horrendous start. Straight up in the second. Vettel getting a fairly decent start. Hopefully he doesn't do a Vettel this race. But Rosberg getting a decent start and took Verstappen and Raikkonen. Verstappen getting a bad start, just like in real life. But can we stay on the back of Vettel at least until the end of this lap? Okay, so Vettel is definitely quick, but I don't think he can do 130R flat out. So that's where I'm gaining time back. I've stuck, in a rich, I've stuck up in the rich mix. Hopefully I can just stay with him like I am now. And Slipstream seems very, very overpowered. 
Okay, we set the fast lap of the race. We have Slipstream on Vettel. Are we going to make a move on him into turn one? Yes, we are. He tries our on the outside, but runs wide. We take the lead of the Japanese Grand Prix. Slipstream is fucking OP at this track. I'm going to stick it down to standard just while I have the lead because I don't feel, even with Rich Mix, with the help of Slipstream and DRS, I won't be able to increase the gap on Vettel. We're considering switching to an alternate strategy. Do you want to Safety car's been deployed. Copy what? All right then. Um, I'll box this lap. Okay, I'm going to box this lap. No, I don't want to stop. Just Copy box me this lap. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, but you won't shut up. Understood. Copy that. Box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. Onto the hard tire. We this safety car. I have, to, I have no idea why there's a safety car. There's no retirements. Okay, go into the pit for the hard tires. This safety car might have just won us the race. This safety car might have just won us the race. Sergio is in the pits. Sergio has pitted. Sergio's pitted. Nice, Sergio. Oh, Vettel's pitted as well. Fuck! What tyres are he on? Softs. You fucking retard. We come out We come out in 7th place because other people pitted. Onto soft tyres. So Perez goes onto hard tyres as well. If we get a Force India 1-2, this will be the best drive ever. Force India... Well, I, I asked to pit this lap. They were trying to put it on a 2-stop. But if we get a Force India 1-2, I'm taking all the credit. Okay, so safety car staying out for another lap. Are these guys going to pit in front of me? Yes, they are. I was almost going to back a Carlos Sainz. What position do we go up to then? First. Okay, then. Um, I was not expecting that. But then again, that doesn't actually give me the result I wanted. Because they're going to catch him. Yeah, Vettel's on to back me. Although he's got to pit again, so... I'm still in a strong position because the safety car is staying out for another lap so I thought I'd have a look at where everyone is. We're obviously in first on the hard tyre, a very good position to win this race. Vettel's got to pit again because he went back onto the soft tyre, no idea why. The Stappen doesn't have to pit again so I don't know, will, will he make it to the end? I'm not too sure. Perez is in a strong position on the hard tyre, Groton's in a strong position on the hard tyre as is Rosberg and Hamilton who have got themselves back into this, well Hamilton's got himself back into this race. So if Vettel pits this could be a very very interesting top three. Please, please go into the pit this lap. Thank you. For Stappen is our only real com competitor because Vettel has to pit again. But the restart, fucking hell, for Stappen getting a very, nope not, that's not for Stappen, that's Vettel getting a very good restart. NASA is out of the race on the restart. But we hold off first place into turn one. Obviously, Vettel on the much faster tyre. So if we can just keep up well, if we all we need to do is stay within 20 seconds of him. Because he does need to pit again. And Perez has taken for Stappen. Verstappen's really not good on starts. He is very realistic in this game. Question is, when is when is Vettel going to pit? We're gonna go for the inside line at 130R. I don't know if they're gonna go around the outside of me. He doesn't seem to have the straight line speed. That's interesting. Yeah, see, Vettel just... It's not Verstappen. Why do I keep calling him Verstappen? Vettel just doesn't seem to take 130 off flat out. I think he's too scared. And he comes into the pit. There we go. It is a force in the 0-1-2. With six laps to go, can we hold on to it? And Groge, Verstappen's pitted. Grosjean is in third. This is, look, this is going to be a, fan, a fantastic podium. I hate this corner so fucking much. It is so horrible and Paris is right to the back of me. Please don't overtake me. I just want a force in the one too. Is he going to try and run my outside? I don't think he is. Smart move. Multi-21, Perez. Multi-21. Is he going to try and run my... He's trying to run my outside at 130R. Is he going to hold it? He tried it but went wide. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that... Oh shit, Townsend in third. Perez, run. Quickly. Quickly. Just drive quickly. Don't fight me. Just drive quickly. You've got DRS. And Slipstream, just stay with me. If Hamilton wins this from 17th place, I'm done. If Hamilton gets past Perez, I'm thinking I'm going to try and hold Hamilton up, try and get Perez back in the second. Because I really want this one too. It's, 
Perez is going to have no go at me. I'm going to go for the outside line this time. No, I'm not. Sorry, Perez, but there's no outside line at 130R. You fucking idiot. Why? Why? You're on a hard tyre. How much are they wearing? Nothing. Why are you pitting? I'm done. Why, Perez? Why? Now it's a Mercedes 2 3. This is boring now. Okay, uh, the Mercedes cards are a little close to me. Not too sure how I feel about that. Two and a half laps to go. This might be closer than I thought. Oh, shit. Oh, dear, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all gone to shit. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I've just taken out Hamilton. Oh, bugger. As Rosberg hits the back of me. Oh. No. Oh, he's still in third somehow. Now, Rosberg's easily going to take me with Slipstream and DRS. Oh, man. Can I take him back? He goes wide at turn one, and we get to cut back on him. I should have enough fuel to get me uh, to use Rich Mix till the end. Oh no, we've run wide. Oh, no, okay, don't focus on fuel corner, just focus on Rosberg. If I lose this race. If I lose this race, it's all my fault. Oh, that's audacious. To be, I, I fucking nailed it. Rosberg taps me on the exit. Come on, you've got a slipstream. Come on, can we take him up the inside of Spoon Corner? He leaves us room, we take it back up in the first place. Sure, I'm going to go for the inside line. Nope, he's gone for an even insider inside line. Surely that's not going to work. Surely not. I'm going to go for the undercut. Yep, he goes deep again. We take back first place. Now, I'm not going to change my fuel. I, I just need to look at it. As long as he doesn't take me down 130R, we've won this race. I, I, I don't give a shit about Magnussen right now, Jeff. I thought I told you to shut up anyway. Magnussen is the least of our problems as he retires. I don't care. Rosberg tries to have a look around the outside of the hairpin. I don't think he's going to do it. We get the exit. We're forcing him off and we've caught onto the back of him. That was a bit dirty. Coming down to Spoon Corner. He doesn't make a move up or inside. 130R is the important corner. Is he going to make a move down this straight? I don't. I think he's too far back. He is too far back. Coming down to 130R. He doesn't make a move to the chicane. Surely, surely we've won this. And we have come around the final corner. We're going to take our second win for Force India at the Japanese Grand Prix. Brilliant stuff from Force India today. What a superb victory. Tell me, Alex, what was the key to this success? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. I can see them on their way out to the podium now. Force India have really come a long, long way in this sport, and what a special race this was to see them earn that top spot. So there, it's time to see how this so there you go, guys. Our second win of the season, our second win from Force India, and our fifth podium. We could have definitely got a Force India 1 2 if Force India hadn't been retarded. Hamilton did a fantastic drive, 17th to 3rd. He pretty much copied my strategy and got back into the race. Max Verstappen, another person who lost a good result, along with Vettel. Vettel and Verstappen. Could have got the podium if their team hadn't been retarded. Raikkonen, I just didn't see the entire race. Perez, I think, lost out the most in this race. He could have definitely got second, maybe even first if he challenged me. Ricardo is eighth. I don't know what happened to him. Drojan also missed out, obviously getting dragged into the pit with Perez. And then the two retirements, Felipe Nazza, who retired right at the start of the restart. And then Kevin Magnussen, who I'm pretty sure had an engine failure. 
But in the drivers, we move, we finally move past Daniel Ricciardo into fifth place. We're, we're not going to beat Vettel in the drivers. We're just not. We're 13 points ahead of Ricciardo and a lot more points ahead of Verstappen. So it's going to be a, bit, a battle between me and Ricciardo for fifth place. The Constructors Force India just four points behind Red Bull. Just saying Force India, if you hadn't called Perez in, we would 100% be ahead of Red Bull. But Toro Rosso just isn't a threat. We're almost 100 points ahead of them. But we've secured fourth in the Constructors. Could we take third though? Yeah, just, just, just look at that. Come on. Give me first driver. Please, like... I'm going to press X and I'm expecting Emma to walk up to me and say I've been promoted. Bang. Oh, no, no. Bang. For fuck's sake. Maybe she'll come at the start of next weekend. Well, there you go, guys. That is the Japanese Grand Prix taking our second win of the season. Ever since Austria, our form has changed. We have been in the points every race except Belgium which was a bullshit disqualification so I, f I feel like next season we could challenge for the drivers but that's gonna be it for this video guys if you enjoy remember smash the like button and subscribe new one here and until next time guys see ya